How you doing, Warriors? I'm Coach Schwimp of the SOCOM Shooting Team. And I'm Coach Lewis. Today, what we want to talk about is wellness, strength, and conditioning as it relates to the shooting sports. I just want to start out talking about some things that you can do back home before you ever come to the range and will have a, a direct benefit on your performance uh, for the day. Let's talk about this basic exercising um, and cardio. You know, if you're a guy that likes to run or swim or bike, uh, th those are awesome activities. Anything to, uh, to increase your cardiovascular and to lower your heart rate, uh, those are good things. Stretching is also a good thing, uh, particularly in the standing and the pistol. Um, you're, you are standing there for about 70 minutes uh, for the 40 shot course of fire. So um, some proper stretching, back exercises, stretching out the lower um, uh, part of your back would be uh, very helpful. One of the two things that has a, a huge impact on your shooting performance is your diet and your medication. If you think about your body as a system, and anything that goes into your system that's going to increase your heart rate has got to be considered. Because at the end of the day, you're trying to achieve a very solid position to reduce the wobble area. So anything that increases the heart rate goes directly to the front sight post uh, or the aperture of those air, air guns. So let's talk about diet, for example. Typically, you want to stop uh, eating um, about two hours before you come to the range. Uh, and what should you eat? Anything that's high in sugars or carbs, um, uh, again, it's sugar in your body. Um, if you're a, a smoker or a dipper, I mean, that, that nicotine, uh, coffee drinker, the caffeine, that's all going into your system. And uh, again, it gives you a little, a little high in the jitters. Uh, and if you're trying to, to relax and hold a nice solid group, that's gonna have a direct impact. I'm a coffee drinker. And so for me, I've gotta get finished drinking my coffee about two hours before I come to the range uh, because it's definitely gonna have a direct impact on my ability uh, to, shoot, to shoot an air rifle or an air pistol. Water, being properly hydrated, that's huge. Um, uh, we're talking intense focus, aligning those apertures for either 50 to 70 minutes uh, for just a course of fire. Uh, if you're not properly hydrated, your vision is not gonna last that long. You actually have about 13 muscles in your, around your shooting eye, and that has to be conditioned just like the rest of your body. Now let's talk medications. Uh, most of us take medications and so you need to be able to evaluate the impact on your body that the meds have. Again, anything that comes into the system that's going to increase the heart rate needs to be managed. So uh, consider all those, those things. So for a shooter, having a more wholesome, healthy diet, uh, cutting down on the carbs and the sugars, we're having a huge impact. Let's look at Coach Lewis, for example. He's been eating chocolate cake, brownies, drinking coffee, now he's smoking a cigarette. I don't know how he thinks he's going to be able to perform, but we're getting ready to go shoot. Are you ready to go shoot? I thought we were done for today. <laughs> so let's talk strength and conditioning as it relates to the uh, air pistol. This is a, a, one of our air pistols that we have at SOCOM. <clears throat> There's several different versions. A uh, 10 meter air pistol is the skull crusher of all shooting sports. Um, it's one hand, unlike two that we do in the military, unsupported, and you're still shooting that 177 pellet trying to hit the 10 ring, which is a dot at 10 meters. What we commonly see on the fire line is just after a couple of days, the muscles and tendons in your arm are just totally fatigued, and this is what you see. So strength and conditioning is absolutely critical, and, and everybody can do this at home with just some normal household items. So let's take a look at what we did. <clears throat> with uh, any exercise or sports, you want to start out with a little stretching, okay? This is nothing more than a bungee cord. You can utilize uh, these therapy bands, anything with some elastic to it. You just simply take one end, attach it to your foot. Go ahead and secure it. Start out at a low angle, about a 45 degree angle. And just start doing some stretching and holding. Start from here, come up halfway, hold for about 10 seconds. Go a little higher, hold for 10 seconds. Bring it back down for 10 seconds. And then relax, take a short break. Stretch out again, start from here, 
Hold, if you need to start out at five, start out at five. Five seconds, 10 seconds, five to 10, five to 10, just to get the muscles loosened and stretched out. And we can continue on with something else here. Yeah, that's, that's pretty important. We always want to stretch out, just get a little exercise and range of motion with that. But if you don't have a, a, a pistol at home that you can actually do some holding drills, look what Coach Lewis and I came up with. Just a water bottle, put a screw in the top, just to simulate um, something to focus on so you can work on the eye muscles as well. And whether you put water or, or half sand, full sand, just get a good position as we talked about earlier, holding drills, you can even check your natural point of aim, putting a dot on the wall, you know, 10 to 15 seconds, squeeze it a little bit, it's gonna be squeezing the pistol grip, so simulate the actual hold that you're gonna have, and then put it down. You can do this three to five times a week, that's why they start out at three times a week, <clears throat> maybe 20 or 30 of these, and then you can increase the weight with uh, fill the whole bottle full of sand. <clears throat> So once you transition from that, let's go to a little bit different, different heavier items. You can see right here that here's a five pound dumbbell. Here's a uh, basically a sanitizer uh, napkin wipe holder. Just can be type of weight. Can be filled with sand, water, whatever. An iron, it's got a handle. It works. You know, we also came up with- um, Eight uh, pounds of water. Water, yep. <clears throat> you can do that daily. And every time you get finished, take a chug, so you don't always stay hydrated. Uh, <laughs> when you get done with the water, the gallon of water for the day, then your training's done. <laughs> but you know, again, this this conditioning of the arm, uh, it, it's critical. You're going to shoot 40 shots in, in a time limit of 70 minutes, and I'm not over exaggerating. Once you get as a somebody that's not trained to come to the fire line after the first day. I've pretty much trashed that arm, that shooting arm, uh, just trying to demonstrate what a course of fire is because we work so hard to execute a well-aimed shot. <laughs> so conditioning this, um, this arm and these tendons in that hold, doing hold drills, it's crucial. So three days a week, starting out for the first month, and probably transitioning to five days a week. So there's two main components that we're trying to actually strengthen. It's the arm and it's the, the aiming eye. So even if you were going to transition to a weight uh, that's a five pound or eight gallons is probably the, the most weight you'd want to go. Um, the way you can even show you how you can still put a sight on it so you can actually get the benefit of the eye. So whatever object you're using for a training aid, you simply tear off a piece of tape, take a short nail with some type of a flat head to it, insert it through the center, poke it up through, and just simply attach it to the top of whatever item you're using. So now, not, am I, not only am I doing strength training, but lifting the jug and holding it, I now have an eye exercise portion. I can actually look at the target and look at the tip of the nail, simulating the top center and the front side. Focus while holding, I'm also exercising the eye. Look at the target, look at the side. Look at the target, look at the side. And you can still work on your natural point of aim. Some of you super athletes out there, you can even integrate the resistance band with the weight. So it's just a matter of getting creative. Uh, the amount of the benefits that you would receive by coming um, to the range, to a camp or a clinic or even the games without the gear puts you in a position to be successful when you can actually get the pistol in your hand. So um, in conclusion, let's talk about what we covered today. We talked about the actual wellness, stretching and exercise, diets and medication it has on the shooting position. And we also talked about strength and conditioning and the different type of training aids uh, that you can use from common household items that will still allow you to get some training in at home before you actually come to one of our, our, our events. So with that said, we appreciate um, um, you checking us out. I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing you on the range. And as always, uh, first and foremost, the therapy is pew pew therapy.